Soli Deo Gloria. Yeah. yeah. Once yeah. again. Yeah. 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 It's the yeah. church, man. Yeah. Yeah. Called and collected. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of confusion yeah. about yeah. what makes yeah. up a healthy yeah. church. Yeah. 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 So we're gonna look at the yeah. first mark. Yeah. Yeah. Cause without this one, yeah. you're in bad shape. Let's do it. Yeah. 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 With our raps, we adore our master and Lord Jesus Christ, who deserves all our claps and applause for the wrath that He bore at the cross for our blast from His thoughts and the classless acts of a whore. He gave up His life with the passion it roar. Was raised up to heights where He sat at before. After this all, He gave pastors the call to ministry found in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. What I first wanna do is come to you, the church, to reverse a funny view. So let me ask a question: What's most essential? What is it that gives a local church's credentials. Some would say music. Some would say deacons. Yes. Others say reaching the lost and soul seeking. But if we want to give God the glory in our meetings, the most important thing is expository preaching. Yeah. Where are the Whitfields? Yeah. Where yeah. are the Spurgeons? Yeah. Preach the word. Yeah. Preach the yeah. word. Yeah. We need yeah. sound theology yeah. to deal with reality. Yeah. Preach the yeah. word. Yeah. Preach the word. Yeah. We got enough yeah. rappers. Yeah. We need more yeah. pastors. Yeah. Preach the word. Yeah. Preach the word. Yeah. We need explanation yeah. and deep yeah. application. This verse right here is for the congregation. This is what y'all need to be listening for. Yeah. Let me explain what I mean. It's not too complex. Uh -uh. It's preaching God's word in its proper context. As you listen, be discerning. What you have to determine. What's the point of the passage? The point of the sermon? If not, this problem must be confronted today. Cause he just used the Bible to say what he wanted to say. What? And even if it's delivered with fire and intelligence, that's basically making what God has inspired irrelevant. Instead of applying the word's realities, a lot of pastors relying on personality. But gifts of communication. Can never be a true replacement for the Holy Spirit's illumination. Without exposition, you'll lack major profit. All you'll get is tradition and your pastor's favorite topics. And that can be a slippery slope. The word should be giving you hope. This dude is just giving you jokes. That won't help you love Christ. It won't help your obedience. We need more expositors, not more comedians. But shepherds who labor in the text and faithfully connect you to the Savior, then wait for its effects. God gives the increase. Holiness, love, unity. The word faithfully preached builds up the whole community. If not, your Sunday meal will not last And you'll have to supplement it with the podcast no, no, no. Don't entertain us, that won't sustain us Preach the word, preach the word Careful instruction, not a big reduction Preach the word, preach the word We don't need theatrics and man can attack you Preach the word, preach the word We're on the brink of eternity, please speak earnestly Preach the word, preach the word This verse right here it's for the pastors. I just want to encourage y'all, man. Yeah. Y'all should be mindful of this devout thesis. All of the Bible is about Jesus. The Old Testament, Jesus Christ concealed. The New Testament, Jesus Christ revealed. This truth of the Lord Christ boldly conveyed this in Luke 24 on the road to Emmaus. The law, the prophets, and the teachings of apostles. All of these point back to Jesus in the gospel. So if the work of Christ is what the word is about, ultimately that should be what the sermon's about. Forget applause, you got to let the cross rock ya. All roads in the Bible. Believe it, God got the Whatever the text, faithfulness demands yeah. That we should hear the echoes of nails hit in his hands Don't try to be original, say the old story And watch your people change as they behold glory The glory yeah. of Jesus, yeah. we yeah. need to see this yeah. Preach the word, Come on. preach Come the on. word yeah. Make Christ the center yeah. so new life can enter yeah. Preach the yeah. word, we gotta. preach the yeah. word yeah. Give us the whole yeah. counsel yeah. along with the gospel yeah. Preach the word, yeah. preach the word yeah. This is your duty, yeah. show us God's beauty yeah. Preach the word, we gotta. Word. Yeah, so that's it, man. That's the charge. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, Paul tells Timothy, he charges him to preach the word. And yo, there's a lot of good resources out there, you know what I'm saying? Spirit Empowered Preaching by my man Art Azertia. Christ Centered Preaching by Brian Chapel. The Supremacy of God in Preaching by John Piper. Get these resources, man. More than anything, dig into the word of God, meditate on it, and give it to your people. Grace and peace. Yeah.